Now let us explore how to solve problems using function notation. We have a very simple example. The whole idea is to understand that the first step in problem solving most of the time is to express the situation in a form of an equation and we'll write this equation using function notation. Question here is difference of two numbers is 7. So let us say that the two numbers are x and y. So we say x minus y equals to 7. That is the meaning of difference of two numbers is 7, correct? Their product can be modeled as, now if the two numbers are x and y, their product should be product of x and y, correct? So, so the product is equals to x times y. So we get our equation. Now in function notation, as you can see, we normally write function in one variable. So the next step for us is, there are two variables here, express one variable in terms of another. So we can do that from these equations. So what we can do, we can write what y is equal to from the first equation. So this first equation gives us y equals to so if we bring y on this side, it is x minus 7. So y equals to x minus 7. Now once we know that y is x minus 7, then the product is x times y. So that product could be written as x times, instead of y, I will write x minus 7, right? x minus 7. And in function notation, this product could be written as a function of x. Now. On the right side of equality, we have only one variable and therefore we can write this as function of x and this is the product. Multiplying these two terms, we get the product. So that becomes our equation in function notation. You get the point. So that is how we develop equations using function notation. Amongst the options given to us, we do have x times x minus 7 as option A. So that is the right answer. I hope the steps are clear. We'll take one more example and, and then we'll do some questions on this. Thank you and all the best.